This Equipment World video is brought to you by Philips 66 Lubricants, keeping the world running smoothly. What's going on guys, Wayne here. So look, recently John Deere announced several updates that are coming to its motor grader lineup. Specifically, they have pushed uh, a few improvements to their Grade Pro or GP models of motor grader. And they've also introduced some updates that are grader specific to Smart Grade, and that is Deere's uh, massless machine control platform. And those Smart Grade improvements are actually a little bit bigger than software. They also include a new premium circle option that are gonna save you time and and money. Now look, we're gonna go over all of the improvements that Deere is making to these GP series graders and to smart grade as a platform because there's just a lot of tie in there between those GP graders and that smart grade technology platform. But this is also a good opportunity to kind of discuss what a GP series grader is in general and exactly how it kind of differentiates or improves upon the standard grader, that standard, you know, G model grader that Deere offers. So let's get into it. All right, so let's start with that GP series. So essentially, whenever you're shopping for a John Deere motor grader, and it doesn't really matter which model you're looking at, uh, from the 620 all the way up to the 872, every one of those eight models, you can choose either the standard G version of that model, or you can upgrade to the Grade Pro or GP version of that model. Now, in broad terms, you can kind of think of these GP models as kind of premium models, kind of similar to the way that you would outfit a pickup truck with a luxury or high-end trim. And just like a truck with a high-end trim, the GP models all bring improvements that are really focused around comfort, and technology. And for operators, that means a significant and particular difference when it comes to controls. Essentially, the way that's gonna break down is this. If you're one of the many operators out there that really prefer the degree of control and the feel of the traditional antler rack style of greater controls with the mechanical linkage and that you know that layout with, with the way that they flank the steering wheel and everything is kind of up front and in front of you, then really the G series models are for you. These machines are built like a traditional grader with some of the comforts of a modern grader, but giving you that traditional feel and control of that antler rack design. However, if you want seat mounted controls and kind of the comfort of having the controls kind of positioned around you and moving with you rather than you having to kind of scoot up toward the controls as the antler rack requires since everything is up front, if you prefer those seat mounted controls, then that's where the GP series comes in and it's one of the ways that it's trying to offer comfort. Now the good news on these GP series models for those out there that might prefer that extra degree of control that that antler rack layout gives you with just kind of access to so many kind of points of control with all the different sticks there, you can still opt for on the GP series models the uh, fingertip controls rather than the dual joystick controls. However, if you ever do want to switch to joysticks or maybe you're a guy who is using joysticks sticks, but you've got someone else on the crew that prefers the fingertip style. Deere says you can actually easily swap these two control schemes out on those seat mounted controls. You can swap between joysticks and fingertip controls pretty easily in a process that takes only about 30 or 40 minutes. Now, as I alluded to earlier, really the reason that the G series models have the antler rack controls and the GP series model have these seat mounted electro hydraulic controls is that these GP series come standard with an electro hydraulic valve. Now that valve is not just there for those control schemes, that electro hydraulic valve is also there to support automation technology and machine control technology. Now, obviously that means that these GP series models all support kind of the full implementation of Deere's massless machine control technology, smart grade. But if you buy a GP series model, Deere also kind of lets you pick and choose from some of these automation features that are found within the smart grade package. So if, if we kind of take a second and we think about the pricing tier that Deere has kind of set up with its motor grader lineup and you have kind of at the very bottom of that tier, kind of the G series models. And then at the very top, the GP series models that are equipped with the full smart grade platform. At a slot right in the middle there, you're gonna get the GP series models because Deere is basically gonna give you an a la carte menu of these automation features that are found within smart grade, but they're gonna let you kind of pick and choose those to, to your liking. So you can get some of those features without having to pay the full cost of the full smart grade package. Now beyond having that EH valve on these GP series models, there's actually one more element 
that actually makes all of this interplay between the GP series models and the full smart grade implementation possible. And that is these in cylinder sensors that basically make smart grade possible. Now these in cylinder sensors are included as standard equipment on all GP series models. And that's regardless of if you have plans on outfitting it with smart grade or if you outfit with smart grade from the factory. Now we're going to talk about smart grade and the sheer accuracy of those in cylinder sensors in just a little bit. But as an example of what those cylinders enable on non smart grade GP models, Deer includes its cross slope feature standard on all GP models. And that's going to allow you to enter a cross slope value into the grader. And then I'll have the blade automatically maintain that cross slope on one side of the blade while you have the ability to maintain blade elevation on the other side. Now recently Deere has kind of augmented the way this cross slope feature works on these GP series models with the introduction of automatic blade gain values. So basically when you're working with cross slope engage and you've got that cross slope value dialed in, these automatic blade gain values are essentially gonna automatically generate and those are gonna control basically how quickly the blade reacts to the material. Now to do that, the cross slope system is going to monitor your machine speed and other parameters, and it's gonna adjust those blade gain values on the fly. And that's gonna optimize just how the blade maintains the cross slope. Now Deere says it's the first to implement these automatic blade gain values into a grader. And really the result has been a lot less fiddling with hydraulic parameters on the operator's part when they're using cross slope. And that's allowing them to focus you know, less on the machine and fiddling with controls and more on managing the material. Now, like I said earlier, this cross slope feature is a standard feature on all GP series models. It's basically just thrown in, but that's not all. Deere also offers basically all of the automation features that are packaged in with SmartGrade as separate available options on all GP models as well. Now those automation features include auto articulation, blade flip, and machine presets. So let's go ahead and go through all of those. Now auto articulation is exactly what it sounds like. It automatically articulates the machine based on when you steer the front tires. And as such, it's really a feature that is aimed at inexperienced operators. But auto articulation is also kind of meant as a comfort feature for those operators with a little bit more experience because it actually allows you to override the automatic articulation at any time you need to make your own adjustments. So basically you can kind of free your mind of articulation articulation until you feel like you need to. And then when you steer the wheel again, the auto articulation is just going to pick back up where it left off. You don't even have to enable it and disable it. You can just kind of make your own adjustments whenever you need to. Now, the second automation feature that is included as part of the smart grade package, but is also available as a separate option on the GP series models is blade flip. And this one really comes in handy, you know, between passes. So let's say you finish a pass and you're turning the machine around to do another pass in the opposite direction. Uh, rather than having to manually raise the blade and angle it to mirror the angle you used on the previous pass, all while turning the machine, you know, blade flip is gonna do all of that with one push of a button rather than requiring you to hold that circle rotation the entire time. Now, the third and final automation feature we need to talk about is machine presets. And these essentially allow you to program the machine to get it ready for certain situations. Before we get into that, I do wanna take a quick second and talk to you about our sponsor for this video, Phillips 66 Lubricants. Moving piles of earth, extreme hot and cold conditions, you know, obviously construction and mining are tough environments. They're run by tough machines and those tough machines need the toughest lubricants available to protect them. Now, there are thousands of mining operations in the U.S. and 60% of them trust just one brand to keep their equipment going and that is Phillips 66 Lubricants. Now, they've put thousands of hours into testing and when you look at the results, it's pretty clear why so many operations put their trust in Phillips 66. Take Gardol ECT. It far outperforms the competition in wear protection and corrosion tests. So whatever you've got, graders, end loaders, dump trucks, Phillips 66 will protect it. Our thanks again to Phillips 66 Lubricants, keeping the world running smoothly. For instance, you can set up a roading preset that will uh, engage auto shift. It will stow the blade and then turn on the working lights, hazards, and beacons all with the push of a button rather than having to do that stuff separately. And with that push of a button, you're ready to road. Now that blade stow feature that I just mentioned that's part of machine presets, that's actually a new feature to those machine presets on smart grade. And that blade stow feature alone is also offered as an available option 
on the GP series models. Now we've been talking a lot about the automation features that come as part of the smart grade package, but they're really kind of just like the cherry on top of this technology. Really smart grade obviously is built around massless machine control technology. That's the whole kind of purpose for that platform. So let's talk a little bit more about smart grade, kind of the accuracy that you can kind of expect and the technology behind this platform. Now with the introduction of smart grade to its motor grader, lineup, Deere actually became the first equipment OEM to offer fully integrated massless machine control on a grader. Now, as such, SmartGrade removes the masts and other expensive equipment that make up grade control systems from the vulnerable positions on the body of a grader. Plus, it also eliminates kind of that daily chore for operators in mounting and calibrating the equipment, and then also the possibility of having to remove it all once it's time to call it a day. And look, while SmartGrade as a platform was first introduced for dozers and has now even made it all the way down to the 333G CTL, check out our video on the 333G CTL with SmartGrade if you haven't already, really what makes this stand out on motor graders as a technology is its accuracy and its grader centric design. Now that accuracy comes from those in cylinder sensors that we were talking about earlier. And while most dozer grade control systems uh, make use of an inertial measurement unit that is usually mounted to the blade, with smart grade each of the graders five hydraulic blade cylinders contains another rod with a magnet on the end. Now, as the cylinder extends out, a sensor inside sends a pulse down that rod that bounces off the magnet and comes back. All right, so I threw a lot at you there with rods and cylinders and sensors and magnets. So what does all of that mean? Well, essentially the system kind of uses the time that it takes for that signal to travel from the sensor inside the cylinder to the magnet and back. The time it takes for that signal to travel between those two points, it can actually use that data, which it's constantly generating while you're running the machine, to kind of figure out several different things. You can actually uh, use that data from all five cylinders on the machine to figure out blade pitch, blade side shift, blade position, and circle side shift, and all of that within an accuracy of one millimeter. Now, beyond the sheer accuracy and really kind of first of its kind nature of the system that Deere has built around its graders with the in-cylinder sensing. Beyond all of that, here is Matt Godert. Now, Matt is the marketing solutions manager for road building equipment at John Deere. Here's Matt with another benefit of having smart grade on your grader over other machine control solutions that still use masts. Think about a traditional uh, grade control system on a grader. Uh, you might have a mast on one side or both sides of the blade, which really limit uh, how much you can move the machine. So when you think about accuracies, your best accuracies with a tr traditional system are with the blade uh, centered under the machine, uh, the mast completely vertical, uh, front tires not leaned, have those straight up. And really, if you do any uh, extreme function outside of that standard grading position, your accuracies tend to degrade a little bit. The big thing about smart grade on graders is it allows the operator to operate without limitations. And what I mean by that is if a customer wants to lean the tires, articulate, uh, shift the circle, pitch the blade, they can do any function on that grader without losing accuracy. So they can stay within that tenth spec and hopefully a lot tighter than that, which gives uh, the smart grade a lot of value and it just frees the operator's mind up. And now in addition to a massless machine control platform with one millimeter accuracy and a suite of automation features, Deere has actually recently added one more benefit to opting for the smart grade package on a GP series grader, and that is a new factory installed premium circle. This new premium circle is built with a fully sealed bearing and pinion. And the result of all of that is that the design essentially eliminates all of the wear points that you would find on a traditional circle. And that means that you're no longer going to have to adjust or tighten up this premium circle to account for that wear over time. You know, plus beyond the time that those adjustments to a traditional circle require in order to compensate for that wear, 
you know, they, they also mean moving the circle table up further. And as a result, you're having to change your blade elevation, and then you're having to compensate for that in the course of operation as well. And the premium circle does away with all of this, essentially leaving you only to worry with cutting edge wear. But there's even more reason to like this premium circle because Deere says it brings both a 15% increase to circle speed and a 40% increase in torque over the standard circle. So in the end, this premium circle that is now included with smart grade ends up making you more productive while lowering your costs. And the only maintenance it really requires is five grease circs every 500 hours. But going back to smart grade as a platform, Deere has also made some software improvements to the platform since its introduction to graders back in 2018. For instance, the company recently sped up file transfers by 20% and made the system capable of processing larger files. Deere has also increased real-time kinematic or RTK radio stability in addition to adding compatibility with network RTK. Now, for those looking for a bit more accuracy than GPS can provide, Deere has also added local positioning system or LPS functionality while still eliminating the need for a mast. Rather than the prism you need being mounted to a mast on the blade, the smart grade configuration for LPS mounts it atop the cap. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up our in-depth look at the John Deere motor grader lineup, specifically looking at these GP series models and how they differ from the G models and that interplay of smart grade and all the technology and features that that package brings. But we want to know what you guys think. Let us know what you think about all the modern features coming to motor graders, whether or not you, you know, what control method you prefer. Are you one of these antler rack guys or are you somebody that's gotten used to the dual joysticks or maybe the fingertip controls? Let us know what you think. We always love hearing from you guys. And if you like this video and found the information in it useful in any kind of way, but specifically in your next machine purchase or rental, do us a favor and hit that like button below. It really helps the channel out. And if you want more coverage and more videos of construction equipment and the construction industry in general, head on over to our website at equipmentworld.com. And while you're there, subscribe to our daily newsletter. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here on YouTube and be sure to hit the bell, turn on notifications so you're getting up to the minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up. Thank you so much. We always appreciate the time and we'll see you in the next one.